YouTube and Google ads for real estate agents and how you can target homeowners directly using these ads and these strategies that I'm gonna teach you right here in this video. What up, it's Ryan Strong here with the Channel Junkies and everybody in real estate really looks at listings being the gold, right? Listing leads leverage. We've talked about this and this has been talked about numerous times. It's in a lot of books, right? The big, uh, big red book, Millionaire Real Estate Agent by Gary Keller. It's a always a hot topic and a lot of real estate agents don't like working with buyers. They want these leads that for the listings. They want listing leads, they want listing appointments, and they want listings because then that book put that frame in mind in everybody. Now, I actually personally like working with buyers more, but there are agents that do like getting listings. And hey, I like getting listings too. I'm not saying I don't like listings, right? And so in this video, let's go ahead and get to it. I'm going to take you in and I'm going to run through a campaign, all right, building a campaign. It's going to be quick. That part is going to be quick because really where I want to focus is how you can actually target these homeowners and get more listing appointments all right so i really want to focus on that part of the actual campaign structure not go, not doing a real deep dive tutorial matter of fact that we're going to have a google and youtube ads course coming out in channel junkies university premium if you're not already part of premium go check out channeljunkies.com over 18 courses and 200 plus hours of workshops available teaching you everything that we know how to execute everything that we do execute here at the channel junkies because we are licensed agents not just marketers and, and talking heads we you know we practice what we preach here so after all that you know what i mean let's go ahead and dive into google and let's start looking at how we can build this campaign really Really quick and target these homeowners and get some more listings go ahead and jump in your google ads manager and go ahead and click new campaign and then you're going to be right here on this page remember I'm, this isn't going to be a super in-depth tutorial as far as creating an entire campaign all right we're going to talk more specifically about targeting homeowners and how to go about that so when you hit new campaign here's where you're going to end up and it's going to have all of these boxes right here so what i actually want to do is i'm going to go ahead and create a campaign without a goals guidance all right this is basically let google letting you free reign create all of your own campaigns uh targeting strategies all that and more so what i'm actually going to do is this is going to be for youtube right so i'm going to do a video i have a youtube video that i made and i want to run this video to target homeowners and get more listings right so custom video campaign all right you can do a couple other things in here like i said target frequency non-skippable drive conversions all this other stuff we're just going to stick with custom video campaign right there and hit continue and now we have come into the campaign all right general settings you can name your campaign whatever you want i'm going to put target homeowners right here just for the purposes of this video bid strategy maximum cpv which is cost per view the following bid strategies again we're not going to spend a ton of time on this type of stuff you determine your own bid strategies like cost per view there's a ton of instructions here again not a deep dive doing right now we want to specifically focus on just targeting these homeowners okay so networks okay locations we're going to come back to locations okay we're going to come back to this part this is going to be crucial we're going to come back to this okay languages english all right for united states and then related videos that's another uh, topic for another time deep diving into devices frequency capping ad schedules third party measurements stuff like that ad group name let's go ahead and put homeowners you can put whatever your specific location is right here if you want to do that now where it really matters is coming into the people who you want to reach to find your audience segments demographic or both all right we're going to come in here we're going to click demographics now when you are running ads with youtube ads and google ads they're one in the same it says google ads we're using this for youtube video campaign all right and they are one in the same you cannot really mess with your demographic targeting right because note household income targeting is only available in select countries you do have to be worried about some of the special ad categories like on facebook when it comes to this type of stuff so we can't do anything with age all right, especially it'll get flagged, especially when it comes to uh, running an ad specific to housing. So what we want to do is go down into audience segments, right? You see me click that audience segments. And now it says search and it says browse. Now I've already done a bunch of this and I've got this stuff up here, but I'm going to show you how to find it. See how it says like trips to the big island as an, as an example. All right. Something like that is a keyword. All right. You can do something like um, how to sell my house right see what that says life events start to come up purchasing a home purchasing a home soon renovating home soon recently purchased a home recently renovated all right would be a good one right a lot of times people do renovations to either upkeep the value or get it ready to sell all right recently moved not necessarily things like that are starting to pop up though is how you can see right that's just for show sorry didn't mean to scroll that fast coming back to it um we want to hit browse all right i just wanted to show you that as an example you can type in whatever you want right moving 
to let's just type in Austin, Texas, for instance. This is another example if you were targeting somebody relocating. Okay, that's a time, another time for another video. But I'm going to exit this and I'm going to hit browse. Okay, so browse. This is where it's really, really going to matter. So who are they? This is going to be the top ones here. Parental status, marital status, education, employment, right? But home ownership status. Let's click that drop down. Home owners. Okay, so now I've got homeowners. Now, audience expansion is something that it's, it's an AI tool that Google and YouTube have embedded into their programs for running ads. And you can click this button to learn more about it, but reach more people who are similar to your selected audience. Briefly touching on this, if you've ever run Facebook ads, Facebook has a lookalike audience. And if you've ever run Google or YouTube ads, they have what's called a similar audience. Well, Google is actually getting rid of these similar audiences and they want you to use audience expansion. This block right here, they want you to check that. What that means is Google is going to run the ad based on the audience that you have targeted with your targeting methods right here, like we were doing with homeowners. All right, so you're, you're creating this audience like this. And then audience expansion is essentially Google and YouTube going ahead and running that ad to a lookalike or what they call a similar audience. It even says it right here, people who are similar. So you're creating this specific target and then they're going to go ahead and start targeting that lookalike audience or similar audience for you in the same campaign. It is a great tool. Uh, it's it's sort of an AI tool. Um, some people do say, it, you know, hey, Google's AI is going to do this for you. Right. And it's pretty cool. So you can do that and see how it tests and how it plays out. Right. If you wanted to reach a similar audience. OK, so that's how those look. And if you wanted to use that. But next super important thing that I do want to target with my ads here right because if we are targeting homeowners to get listings and we just select this right here if we just select homeowners then we're targeting every single homeowner who you know they could have just bought their house and they're going to see your ad and then they they're like I'm not selling for another 5 years like sorry you know so what we want to do is add in another layer to this so I've got home ownership status here but I want to add in another layer so what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we are going to go to uh where are we at what interests and habits they have you can look into stuff like this there's some stuff here and there but nothing really too great what are they actively researching or planning this is what's going to be better right here right so in market and life events this is where it's at ready so third one down in market or life events let's look at in market you can see there's some things here in market baby children's products business services you can look into here we're not going to check that sorry i just meant to hit the drop down advertising they got a ton of stuff in here right but nothing real estate related they got all kinds of stuff in here i'm telling you youtube targeting is very very good okay so real estate oh look what do we got here commercial properties moving and relocation all right so now we're going to click this see how it's i let that populate so it's giving me the weekly impressions right there 1 billion to 5 billion and that's if you're targeting everybody, right? But what we're gonna do here is go to and click that. So now what you can see that we've done here in our detailed demographics is we are targeting homeowners who are actively researching and planning moving and relocation, all right? This is something that they are actively planning according to Google, right? Some, how does Google know this, all right? For, for, for one, we can start with Google knows everything about you, whether you think so or not, and whether you like it or not, unless you're just absolutely dark and not using phones, anything Google at all, like Google knows, okay? And you're not searching online and you're not searching the internet, right? You're not, you're not looking at any websites because here's how Google has all this information. Somebody is online and they are actively searching, you know, relocating to an area on YouTube. They're looking at somebody's living in city channel, right? Living in Houston, Texas channel, while they live in you know charlotte north carolina that is somebody actively looking at moving companies researching uh, new areas and planning a move all right so now we've got this detailed targeting method right here of homeowners moving in relocation this is the and all right this is not if or but this is together homeowners who are doing these two things all right now i want to go to locations so let's go back up let's scroll back up and locations okay so yeah you can target everybody in the united states if you want to um <laughs> up to you but if you want to get really really specific let's say with your market all right so i'm gonna hit enter another location and it says enter location to target or exclude all right because you can exclude a bunch of locations so what i like to do is go here and hit advanced search okay now if you haven't already 
you should be following along whether you have this video in another window and you have your you know campaign excuse me up next to this window or on another screen and pausing and following along with these steps okay so advanced search i'm going to click that and it's going to give me this pop-up of this map of the world so there's two different options right here location or radius and you can add locations in bulk so enter a location to target or exclude all right so my main market is hawaii i'm going to go ahead and show you how i could target homeowners in a specific zip code all right in my market all right and, and if you're from hawaii hey say hello right um or aloha uh, let's go ahead and do 96706 it's a zip code my family lives there everything like that right so 96706 you see all of these pop up i'm gonna hit target now you can see that here in the map all right google has put a blue parameter around this zip code i can target every homeowner in this zip code who is actively looking at moving and relocation i can go ahead and do it that way you can add multiples it doesn't have to be just one all right i can target i know the zip code to the spot next door because it's my market so i can target both of those and i can cover this entire area of homeowners actively searching and planning moving and relocation okay now let's say that i wanted to target a specific like radius around an area maybe i don't want to do the whole zip code um, maybe i want to target just a specific radius okay so let's go ahead and let's actually move to a different market i'm going to move over to actually let's do austin texas okay i just had a couple calls coaching calls with some people in austin and i want to target austin all right so when i go in and i click target austin it does this all right it does this it gives me this blue thing right but i want to do location and radius okay so let's do the same thing what if i put in austin texas to and i hit target and it put a 20 mile radius right here around austin texas all right now it's you can see the blue one still inside if you just click the x it'll get rid of it right there and then you'll be switching your targeting up be like wow that's kind of big though austin's kind of big i'm not really trying to you know market out there and, and get listings out there or i just don't even know that area all right so let's pick a very very specific location let's go ahead and say like around uh cedar park all right i know i used to know somebody in cedar park so let's go ahead and do get rid of that um cedar park texas target all right so what it did was it put a 20 mile radius around cedar park Texas. like ryan that's too damn big like I, that's way too big so here's what you do you take this let's get rid of that zero and let's do the same thing let's do cedar park texas bam okay and then hit that x now do you see what i've done i've put a two mile radius around cedar park in austin texas and i can target homeowners all in this area all right let's say you know for instance like the high school right cedar park high school all right i could put a radius around the high school as well right people who go to that high school maybe it's a pristine area maybe it's not i don't know i'm just giving you examples but that is how you can put a radius around a certain area and target homeowners in that very specific radius who are actively planning moving and relocation okay that's part of the, the key there is again because you want to make sure that the homeowners that you are targeting are just looking at selling their home all right not somebody again who just bought their home so this is crucial right here and again you can type in a, the an, enter a name of a place let's go ahead and use let's go ahead and use um i can't think of a place at the moment uh let's do disney all right let's do disney florida right disney park in orlando disney world in orlando all right I can target a bunch of homeowners in, and I got to get rid of this one, right? Disney World, just like that, with a two mile radius, okay? That's if you wanted to do a specific place. You can also type in a very specific address in here too. You can type in your very own address in this bar if you want to. Nobody's going to see it, all right? But you can type in your own address and you can target all the homeowners that live around you, okay? And you can do that. So very cool stuff right there. I wanted to uh, explain a little bit more to you about how this does affect how many leads come in and how many, how much like it plays a role in your budget and what budget you should consider using. I wanted to go ahead and talk about a couple more things because I know that these are questions that you're probably going to ask. And even if you have that question or another question, go ahead and drop it in the comments. All right. So that that question may be something everybody else is thinking too. Now you're going to be asking, I know this already. Well, how much should I run this campaign for and how many leads and stuff should I expect? Right. I already know these questions are coming. So let me go ahead and address these questions depending on the size all right it always depends on the size of the audience think about it like this if 
I have this massively wide audience, all right, and a tiny budget, then I'm not even gonna reach that massively wide audience, okay, with that tiny budget. Do I even wanna target this massively wide audience? Most likely not, all right? Like I was telling you, you can get super detailed around your house, your neighborhood, a specific area, right? A, a zip code, whatever that might be. So when you get more defined with your audience, you don't need as much of a budget, all right? You don't need a bigger budget, all right? So with a, such a smaller audience, let's say that you ran an ad for example purposes, okay? Around three locations, okay? That have a two mile radius around them and you're targeting homeowners and moving and relocation, okay? This is an ad that I would probably consider running and I have run these ads around $10 a day. Now, the other part of this though, is you're gonna go, well, it's not working, right? Because you didn't haven't had any leads come in in three days. That's not necessarily true. Depending on if you're running Google PPC or YouTube ads, this one was specific for YouTube ads, it's gonna really play a factor because that person, that homeowner has to be on YouTube, right? They have to be on YouTube. And that's part of the point of searching or, or adding in that layer of moving and relocation. They gotta be on YouTube um, actively searching or they gotta be online actively searching this stuff for it to work, right? So they gotta be on YouTube to see your ad because that, well, that was a YouTube ad, right? So they gotta be on YouTube to see your ad to, in order to click it and then take them to whatever funnel or whatever it is that you might want, market reports, your home valuation, whatever. So you gotta consider that. When you are targeting a more defined specific audience, you don't need as big of a budget, just know that results are gonna come slower. So again, I'd probably run that around $10 a day, test i always look at everything as a test and see how it goes positive or negative how can i learn and grow from it but that is exactly how you can target homeowners actively searching moving and relocation with youtube and google ads get your videos in front of them first all right they're actively searching this stuff get them into your you know sellers listing presentation webinar get them into your funnels get them into your home valuations get in front of them get those listings appointments and get those listings so thanks again that's ryan here with the channel junkies don't forget it make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you have run these ads go ahead and let us know what your results are in the comments if that's something you're comfortable with and look we got tons more stuff coming out make sure you check out channeljunkies.com again channel junkies university premium where we have over 18 workshops over 200 hours of content there teaching you everything that we know how to do everything that we execute on to generate business and continue to grow and scale see you guys next time